Hey guys, welcome to my channel, All Things GarageBand. I'm Jeremy Hawes, and in this video, I'm explaining to you basically how to start GarageBand. It's a free recording DAW that comes with your iPad, iPhone, and iMac. I'm going to show you how to use it with your uh, your iPhone today. I'm pretty sick. I've been using GarageBand and uh, with my iMac, iPhone, and iPad for like 15, 20 years now. So, um, anyways, let's get started. Woo! All right, guys, go ahead and um, click on your GarageBand icon here on your iPhone. Bam! All right. All right, so here's, uh, here's uh, where the songs I've already been recording or still need to work on. And if you're just starting GarageBand on your iPhone for the first time, there won't be anything like this here. But uh, so don't worry about anything except for this little plus plus button. I'll show you how to use all this more in depth on other videos, more advanced videos on my, other cha on my channel, All Things GarageBand. Just check it out. Um, go ahead and hit this plus icon here to get started. This will bring you to your first song, your first tracks, uh, new, new track, new song. Okay, so um, these are all your uh, different MIDI instruments. You can swipe left or right here. There's your bass guitar, and uh, there's your guitars, uh, world instruments, drummer, external, uh, sound library, keyboards, and drums, and amp sims, and your audio, your, uh, your vocals and instrument. Okay, now um, these are, I'll explain this more, uh, more in depth later, but uh, this is like, say you're recording with a portable guitar interface like iRig 2. Um, you, would, uh, you would plug that in and, with your electric guitar and you would do a dry track into these, uh, record a dry track into one of these, these and then use an amp stand that you enjoy and uh, record that, it's pretty sick. So, but now I'm just gonna show you how it works, how to record like your first track and stuff basically. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and swipe to the left to these, I like using the drums, I really enjoy using, I usually use them on the iPad because the iPhone's really too small to play for the surface space for fat fingers like mine. So I need something bigger like an iPad Pro, but I'll play the, I'll show you real quick, I'll play the, uh, the live drums, the acoustic drums, I think for a metal song, because I do metal, and um, I'll play them here with like six fingers instead of just limited to four with your hands and feet or legs and arms. <laughs> it's pretty sick. I got good at this. And then I'll record it on my iPad playing it live to, uh, and I'll record up onto my iMac uh, as GarageBand and record it with the tracks I already have on there. If not, I'll re start the song. If I'm doing song, I'll do the drums here and say I'm, I, my uh, band members can't come to my studio, I'll go to their house or if I'm on tour or whatever, I'll record with like an iRig 2, a portable guitar interface, or iRig Pre 2, which is uh, the audio interface, portable guitar, or portable audio interface. And I'll record those tracks together, and then I'll slam, slam some drums on there, and then I'll transfer it all to my iMac when I get home. It's pretty sick. So it, they all do all kinds of cool shit. I mean, you, uh, GarageBand comes free with your iPad, iPhone, and iMac, and they all work together. And I'll, I'll have more videos showing you how to use that more in depth. But anyways, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay down uh, just a real quick clip of a, a take of a drum track here, and then we'll, we'll do another track and show you how it works, okay? So first off, here's your metronome. You can turn this on or off. And I'll show you how to uh, speed up the metronome and, or uh, to change the sound a bit later in more advanced uh, videos. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit record here and I'm going to record a little bit. Okay, the reason it's sounding like that to you guys is because I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I've got, I, I'm, I'm making this video, so I've got like a bunch of other programs work, all going on on my desktop, and then I have to transfer the screen from my iPhone's GarageBand, up to, or iPhone to my uh, desktop, so I can record the screen so you can see me doing this, and that causes this crazy delay and cuts out some of the sound. So this won't sound like this when you're just doing it, uh, and you're not doing all these other programs to record a video at the same time. Um, so I understand it will sound exactly like it's supposed to sound, not like that. But anyways, let me play it back for you so you can see what I mean. See, I don't know why it's cutting out so bad, but I'm pretty for sure it's because of the d delay and uh, whatever is going on with the, the video um, processing, uh, you know, the, anyways, doesn't matter. Point being is uh, it'll do that. That's, whoops, sorry. This is your first track. Let's just say, just forget about what it sounds like on mine. It's going to sound right on yours. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead. And then we're going to go back to, uh, we're going to actually uh, put on a new track and record a new track to that. And that's what I'll show you how to do. Oh, but first off, let me show you real quick if you want to change the drums or you want to get some electric drums like a Roland 808 or something like that. You go over here and click on this little arrow and then go down to the, see the SoCal drums. This will open you up so you can go to your acoustic or you can go like your Roland 808s right here. 
uh, and all the other ones and percussion like Congo bongos and Chinese. I even downloaded all that. You can get all these downloaded free. More, you just go up here and they have like hundreds of different uh, drum sounds and drum kits and stuff like that. It's crazy. So go back to acoustic. And uh, but now I'm so I'm, I'm gonna go, I, I just let you know is it here? No, nope, I didn't. Up, oh, yes, it is. This is one of my favorite drum kits. Is the Bluebird? Just to let you know. Um, check it out sometime if you if you like rock metal that kind of stuff. It works great with that. Okay, we're gonna go to done. And uh, okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to get a new track. So go over here and oh, first off, one more thing. Sorry about that. If you want to erase this at any time or you mess up, it, it'll happen a lot. This is your undo button, so you can just hit that and it'll erase it. Or you can go in. I'll show you later how to just erase it yourself, if further on the track or pieces of it. But uh, anyways, we're gonna go and switch. We're gonna click on this bad boy. This will bring us to this screen where um, I'm gonna pull this out. Wait, by swiping right. And uh, go down here. This is this is your first track. You just recorded the drums, and this is your headphones, or to turn on or off your studio monitors. And this is your volume, that kind of stuff. Down here, we'll, we'll uh, you hit this plus button. It'll get you a new track. So we can go to like, uh, let's go to, let's go to keyboards. All right, cool. And we'll go down to here. Click on that bad boy. And okay, see what? See, that doesn't cut out as bad. But anyways. Uh, let's go to let's change the sound real quick go back up to this bad boy and go down to this bad boy click on that guy and then we're gonna just pick a different sound I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to leads I guess be cool and I click on this guy just for the heck of it there we go anyways there you go now so I'm gonna go ahead and and and, and uh, record this sound, this MIDI instrument, keyboard, to uh, along with that drum track, okay? So you can get an idea of how you can start adding the tracks together. And I'm hit record. Real quick, like, bam. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my metronome now by clicking on that. Now I'm gonna play it back for you and give you an idea what, what's going on here. All right, cool, huh? Pretty sick. Oops, sorry, I just hit my microphone. Now listen, this is just like one one hundredth of what this program can do. It is unbelievable. It's the sickest program. And first off, like the most important thing is it's free. It's free with your iPad, your iPhone, and iMac. And then when you can, like I was saying before, you can record all your stuff on your iPad or iPhone and then transfer all your files up. Or you can use your iPad or iPhone as a MIDI controller or a MIDI drum pad, as you can see, or a MIDI a keyboard. And, and like a MIDI controller, I love using it. Because if you're like me, I do all the inst all drums, bass, guitars, vocals. <laughs> Oops, sorry. And, um, and and I record it myself at home by myself usually. I like to do everything. And so if you're like if you know if you're like me and you do that, you'll know what I'm saying when it sucks to be next to your computer when you're trying to sing in a vocal booth or next to your amp and to come back to your computer to hit that keyboard or click that mouse. You can use your iPhone or iPad as a MIDI controller and actually do all the editing and uh, recording and, and deleting from that vocal booth or your amp instead of being closer. It's pretty sick. It's so worth it. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you want to learn more about GarageBand, how to use it more in depth, uh, either with your iPad, iPhone, or iMac, uh, just check out my channel, All Things GarageBand. If you want to learn more about like how I re the recording process or performing, anything to do with guitar, bass, drums, vocals, uh, that's, like I said, performing, recording, uh, uh, publishing it, getting paid, and copywriting, stuff like that, uh, please check out my other channel called All Things Music 77X. And if you like any of the music you hear out through any of my videos, that's uh, my music. That's uh, Check out my music channel at uh, Jeremy Hawes. That's J-E-R-E-M-Y-H-A-W-S. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, I'd love to hear your input. So please uh, check those out, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. woo That leaves it wide open. <laughs> yeah.